What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Knives of the Roundtable. My name is Marco and today we kind of have a first in our channel. This is the first time ever that a knife baker has sent me a knife for review. So, you know, in the words of Nick Shabazz, I'm going to try my utmost to not let that affect the nature and quality of my review. Uh, he didn't ask for, you know, uh, positive mentions or, you know, a positive review or anything like that. Uh, he basically just said, hey, let me send you something and, uh, and, and post something, whatever your thoughts are on it. So this is the Baltic Blade Angus Gen 2. And what it is, is a small fixed blade, kind of like an EDC fixed blade in a, in a kind of a scalpel style. So if you had a, a scalpel and, and, a, and a bench made a Damas fixed blade, uh, you know, that's, this is kind of like a tactical little, little scalpel. So this is what would result. Uh, so let me show you, I think it, the size is very interesting and the, and the, the shape and use is very interesting. So as with all my fixed blades, size comparison, here it is against the SE5, obviously a horrible comparison. This thing is, is meant for, for, for EDC, it could almost, almost be a, a neck knife, but just for the sake of you understanding the, a fixed blade, that's the comparisons against the SEs. I'm gonna show you here a comparison against the pair two and pair three, even those look kind of massive. That's a pair three and it looks huge. That's a pair two, you know, so, so this is a very small fixed blade. Uh, I think the, I, I don't have a, 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 a good, a good comparison other than, than to say that, I, that it's kind of filled the role for me very much the one that, so this is the MKM uh, Micro, okay? So so you can see kind of the size that it is. Now, I think for some, it might be <laughs> uh, useful. It's it's about five inches from tip to uh, five inches overall. I mean, five and a half if you count the, the diamond knot on the, so what it is is, this is a, a scalpel style fixed blade. It's actually fairly thin. And what he's done is he's 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 kind of braided this this paracord, and you can get it you can get it from him with different paracords. And obviously, you can put whatever paracord you want on it. It 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 it'd be a little bit chunky. I think he's done a really nice diamond knot here at the end. It's kind of tough to do diamond knots very close to the to the edge. Uh, but it, 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 there's basically kind of two versions of this. Uh, well, other than with the different paracords, there's a bunch of paracord uh, colors, but you can get this. I got the stone washed version, and I think it's it's a really nice uh, stone wash. And there's a there's a, a, a satin version, and you can actually see a little bit of the satin uh, uh, grind. But I think the stone wash is 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 done is done really well. Uh, so, uh, it's this is kind of a unique use knife. So, uh, usually my my thoughts on ergonomics, uh, uh, cutting those kinds of things apply more to the to the large fixed blade, right? To the bushcraft camping type knife, which this one is not. But as an uh, but but as a, but as a uh, but as an EDC blade, I think this is actually quite useful. Uh, First, it's 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 very slim. It's very, uh, it, it it's it's basically you you drop it in your pocket and you forget that it's there. It's it's super 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 light. Uh, it comes with this with this cutting sheath. You could uh, wear it as a neck knife if you wanted. It, it there's there's fairly good retention on this, uh, but uh, I don't think it's meant to be to be a neck knife. But you know, it's uh, for what it's intended, you know, you can see the jimping, it's to make, to be used as a scalpel, right? And a scalpel, you put your finger here, you get some jimping exactly where you want your finger to go, and then you make you make the cuts. And what I've found myself using it for is a lot of, uh, so I, I open a lot of packages with it. It just, you know, I just, I can cut the tape shallow and then just, just cut across. 
And I thought to myself, when, whenever I want to do, for example, I, I sometimes cut leather on, on a flat, on a, on a, on a flat surface, it, it came very, very, very sharp. And it's actually still fairly sharp, which surprised me a little bit. I think he's doing a, a good job with his heat treat because this is an NC, N690 um, steel blade. So uh, N690, the only other knife that I have in N690 is my giant mouse, is it my GMF4, I think. It's my large uh, giant mouse GMF4, which I love that knife. I think that the ergonomics and the everything, but in the large knife, in the large knife, I think that N690 is not a great choice. It's a very corrosion resistant uh, uh, steel. I believe he does these at, at, a, at, a, at a hardness of 60 at a rock roll uh, of 60 uh, but I think in a, in a large fixed plate I don't think it's a great choice the steel but in a small fixed plate I think I, I think it's actually a, a, a fairly decent choice it's not a steel that you see all that much uh, and so like I said I've already seen it in, in, in two of my knives but if you take a look at my um, at my video uh, on on knife steels you can see kind of the characteristics of N690 and for this type of blade where you can kind of use it and forget it I think it's a it's a decent choice you're not going to be using this for any kind of hard use it has an okay retention it has an okay uh, uh, toughness but it has a lot of corrosion resistance so you're going to be able to 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 use this uh, kind of without worrying too much about it so like I said I think it's uh, is when you want to carry something that is very light, very unobtrusive. I, I seriously, this is, it feels uh, very much like when you uh, use, uh, I have my my mini bug out in carbon fiber. And that is the one that I wear uh, whenever I, 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 I'm wearing like athletic shorts and I don't want, you know, a, a chunk of steel pulling my shorts down. This feels in, in, in that category, something that you can just throw into your, in, in, into your pants or shorts and just have a blade handy okay uh, one thing that I do not like uh, is so well I mean I'm not a fan of kydex sheets I usually I usually replace all my kydex sheets with leather sheets I I, I just don't I, I, I there's it's it's it works it's high utility a lot of knives have them I understand retention I understand all of the all of the positive attributes of, of kydex I just I just hate the plasticky feel but the thing that I think is is dangerous here I think is that the the kydex should I don't know how but it should be on the other side because when you this is when you want to take the kydex out you push this way and your finger is right in the path of the of the of the of the of the cutting right here you see so in a lot of in a lot of knives what you have is they give you this thumb rest right here to push against the knife but if you go over obviously you're in the spine of the knife right but he's not done that here I think I think he should reverse this 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 should be in the in, in the other direction uh, where where the, the thing that you push against should be back here and you can but I think with with this uh, kind of protruding this far out on this side I think a lot of people are gonna go here and and that's uh, I, I think that's a, that's a little dangerous and I don't think it's a, it's, it's a hard thing to do to just to just flip this one around uh, and if you get one uh, or he could do just a lip you know the, I've, I've seen some where they kind of melted it uh, this way uh, you know, they just kind of uh, pull the a lip out so that you, so you can get it out I think you can get it on this side uh, but like I said, I think because this thing sticks out so much on this side, a lot of people are gonna go here, and it's and it's and it's dangerous to do. Uh, I've 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 enjoyed my time with the with this blade. I I, I really have, and it's been one, you know, where uh, uh, bearded bearded gear. Uh, he always talks about having a primary knife and a secondary knife, and I think 
I, I never wear two knives except when I'm, you know, going camping or in the forest. Uh, but in my EDC, I don't do that. And this is kind of the first time that I actually did. I used my, my, my folder, my EDC, whatever I want to carry that day. And I've been, and, and I've been carrying this as a secondary because, like I said, it's so light, it's so unobtrusive, it's so thin, it's, it's very, very small. Uh, the, the, the tallest part, it's about five eighths of an inch, a little or half inch. It's very, very, uh, very shallow. So, so this is really, uh, it's it's really something. Sometimes you, you don't carry stuff because you know <laughs> it's it, it's massive or heavy. That is not the case with this thing. It's uh, it's it's one of those where you're just like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take it because it 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 doesn't it doesn't cost me anything. I will replace the 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 black. I think looks good. But I think I like something with a little bit more color. Uh, and, well, guys, uh, you guys, uh, it, th these are available. Uh, they are, uh, oh, price. I think he's selling them for 99 euros. Roughly $100. Uh, which is which is an okay price, I think. Uh, I think at that price point, maybe N690 is starting to stretch it a little bit. Uh uh, but uh, I can't I can't tell you that you know you've got really good jimping you know the build quality is 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 there you've got really nice jimping uh, you know one that's effective that you know your finger doesn't slip it's one where uh, uh, it it doesn't hurt your your hand when you're putting pressure on it all the all the edges have been you know rounded and beveled oh I should say beveled and and, and they're not sharp. But even the inside corners of of, of, of the holes have been, have uh, you have that. I think I think the build quality is really there. Um, so these are if you go, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description. But it's BalticBlades.com. Uh, he actually has a a larger model, something similar to the uh, in the size of the SC3, and I, I I'm, I'm thinking of picking one up. But that's a larger blade, and it's an N690. And I'm not a huge fan of N690 in the large blade. I'm, I, I, I like it for this application. It's similar to uh, uh, Chris Reeb uh, did the Pacific, which is the large blade, and he did the Niala, which is a small blade, in S30V. And I said in both reviews, I think it doesn't bother me in the Niala, the S30V, because you're not going to use those two knives for the same thing. He later did a version of the Pacific, in 4B, which is an excellent choice for the large blade, so I think I think I I, I feel a little bit of that. Uh, you know, I think N690 is an excellent choice for this one. I'm I'm hesitant about N690 in the larger blade, but it looks amazing. So 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 I um, I will be contacting him and and asking him if if he can do uh, the larger blade. I can't remember what it's called, and the larger blade in um if, if i can i'll put a picture of the larger blade uh in the in a, in a different steel in something that is not 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 in 690. well guys uh, i want to thank baltic place for sending me this i i i've really enjoyed carrying it i think it's i think it's a great a great tactical scalpel i think it looks awesome and and i think he's doing good work and uh, if you guys can go check it out uh, i'm sure he'll appreciate it Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and until I see you at the next one, take care.